I'm a, by a degree, I'm a computer engineer. I've spent most of my career building software products though, uh, scalable enterprise applications. Uh, I spent about eight years uh, doing uh, security focused applications and uh, supporting the public safety community. So I've done a lot of integrations and a lot of analysis tools. Um, I've always loved uh, smart devices as a space. Uh, I built my first alarm system when I was about 10 years old. <laughs> um, I built my first internet connected uh, uh, light bulb uh, back in 2002 when that was really novel and interesting you know, as a, as a school project. So uh, this is something that's been a passion of mine forever and I've always loved this space. So we, we really wanted to build something that was exciting to us and also useful uh, to the rest of the world as well as a, the platform for the future of connecting devices. So Droplet is a dream that me and my co-founders have had for many years that we've been talking about doing this. We picked now because we said, okay, this, the market's kind of finally ready. People are starting to think about smart devices, but it's something we've been talking about like, seriously for over a decade. <laughs> so it's been a long journey uh, getting to a point where we're ready to do it. Droplet is a device integration platform. So what we do is we provide a uh, cloud service and uh, what are called edge routers or a router a piece of hardware that can connect to smart devices. And then we create business rules and scenes that define how those devices interact with each other. So it's a reusable platform that we can connect with not only the home consumers, but other businesses that are building smart devices and need a platform to drive those interactions with their ecosystem of devices as well. That's a great question. So the IoT space, first of all, we love standards. Everyone's talking about standards. The standards are going to diverge way more than they're going to converge. And that's kind of where Droplet comes in. We're a standards agnostic platform. We say it doesn't matter which standards, we'll integrate as many of them as our consumers need. But we like to be open to whatever the future holds. That's one of the big predictions that we've made. Uh, we know that that's going to, it's going to diverge faster than it's going to, con going to, going to converge. Um, the other things that are going to happen is you're going to start seeing smart devices that you didn't expect. Things that were so trivially cheap and simple before are going to have computers in them that we could never have predicted 10 years ago would have computers in them. You'll see something as silly as a smart marker that tells you when its ink is almost out and, and it'll be powered through the radio waves in the air and it won't have a battery or anything. So those are the kinds of things that we don't expect today that platforms like what we're building are going to become necessary to drive the interactions between those things and to make that smart marker automatically reorder a new marker because it's low. So we came out as part of the IoT World Startup Zone. Startup Zone allows small companies like us that are early stage to be able to afford to have a presence at an event like this. Um, but it's been awesome for us and hopefully next year we'll be back with a real big booth in the, you know, in the main part of the conference center. Uh, today's been today's been great. Today's been actually super exciting. Um, we have had nonstop action all day. I haven't even taken lunch yet, <laughs> and it's already 3 p.m. So it's it's today's been very electric for us. Everybody's coming by, and there's people lining up to come in and talk. So this has been awesome. It's been a great experience. Um, definitely enjoyed it, and I've just never even taken a breath practically. So that's been really great. As far as things that uh, we'd like other, you know, one last thing we'd like to talk about. We want other device makers and startups to come talk to us, and we want to partner with them. Um, we're, not, we're not greedy, we're not looking for money. We want to share what we've learned, and hopefully something that we've learned is useful to you, and it would be great if something that we've created is useful to you. But if nothing else, let's just share ideas, because being a startup is really hard, and the more that we can share our experiences and learn from each other's successes and failures, the better chances that we all have.